All right. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you might be in time and space. Kenny is here, episode number 22, The Road to Moonlight Towers, part 7, I'm a dumbass. Yep. Yours truly. Yep, me. So, let me get us set up here into the right screen. And we'll get going, and I'll tell you all about it. Okay. All right. So why am I dumbass? A dumbass. Last night, I it was a seven-hour live stream. And I'm still trying to get through the uh, the gauntlet of Char, right? So I'm trying to get through it, and I'm just grumbling over and over. It's just never ending. And then there's more to it. Then there's more to it. Then there's more to it. So we finally find the infernal monster that we're supposed to kill for that devil. He assigned us. Well, he, he warned us that this guy was down there. And he's like, I'd really like you to kill him for me. Right, so. Okay, no problem. I'll, I'll try to do that. And so when uh, we went in here to take him on. He pops up and. Uh, yeah. A shame I missed the battle. All right, so we come in here, and he spots us. He's nowhere to be seen. We can't find him, but our oh, our perceptions triggering like mad. But we don't see anybody. Oh, look! There's one of those orbs that we need just sitting there. And all this, but now as I move the camera, there's somebody up there. Anyway, let me move forward. There's a displacer beast. Lovely. All right, so a few more steps. Uh-oh, cutscene. Are we going to talk to a displacer beast? Fresh no. Entertainment. Ah. But you're too fresh for this place, aren't you? There's a whiff of the surface to you. A new arrival, then. You burrow too deep, little rabbit. Okay, so I wanted to find out, you know, what what the deal was, so I didn't just right out attack him. I did, okay. Um, first of all, ah, oh, crap, we have Lazel on. So there's another mistake right there that I made, and I'm making again. So maybe we'll be able to do it with Lazelle, maybe not. Anyway, let me get to the point of why I'm a dumbass. Okay, so put that thing down. I'm, I'm here to talk. I don't talk to pray. I... There's something else, almost hidden by your fear stink. Cherries. Musk. And sulfur. Raphael. I can smell him all over you. Where is he? All right, wait. You know Raphael? That's the devil that wanted us to come down here and kill this guy. That perfume tricked us, swindled me, trapped me. Okay. Uh, I don't think I said he wants you dead. I had dealings with him. Maybe we can help each other. Um. I think I said here, there's nothing stopping you from leaving. I know a way out. One that hasn't yet been fulfilled. Where is he? Spit it out. Now! Um, let's share our experience about Raphael. Perhaps we can help each other. Raphael could be anywhere, but let me go and I'll free you from his grasp. I've got nothing to spit out. Not for you anyway. And attack. Um, let's share our experiences. I don't think I chose that, but he could be anywhere. Let me go and I'll free you from his grasp. Uh, let's do that one. 
bargaining, are you? A Karator warlord once tried the same. I made him watch as I ate his concubines in young, then fashioned a codpiece from his skull. Besides, I told you already, I'm bound to this place. Either I fulfill the contract, die trying, or forfeit my freedom. If I leave this place now, I'll become Raphael's slave. Okay, so he's trying to fulfill a contract, right? Um, Show me this contract. Perhaps there's something that you missed. Spill or the blood swarm to the night. Silence or prayers smother each night. One Bershaw's halls hungry to slay. Leave no justice here. Alive to obey. Leave none to hear it. Then be set free. This song is your oath. Swear, swear it to me. Well, that explains where all the dark justicias went. That's it. In your contract is a song. Raphael wanted you to kill the dark justiciers. Why? Bravo. That was awful. Perhaps you should stick to killing. The why? Asking why doesn't get me paid. Hunting and killing does. Raphael mentioned something about an Asima. Meant nothing to me. I did my part. I filled these halls with ghosts. But Raphael's playing some other game. One that involves stiffing me. Anyway, enough prattle. The lyrics are clear. All who hear the song must die. Time to die. Okay, and I tried persuading him, right? That's Raphael, you want not me. There must be something you missed. Let me search this place for you, right? Okay. There's there's something you missed. Let me search the place for you. And I made my persuasion last night. So we'll try it with uh, Lazel here. Okay, and we succeeded again. I spent a century roaming these halls. I spilled every drop of dark justicia blood that there was to spill. And you think you can do better? Go on then. I'll enjoy watching you fail. But try to run, and you will regret it. I may be trapped here, but I'm not without friends. If you break your word, they'll hunt you down and make your final moments a symphony of agony. All right, so that's where we were. That's all I knew. That's that's the only dialogue I thought that we got. Okay. There's actually more. Okay, so for the next two... Okay, then I wanted this orb, right? And I thought, well, maybe I could just grab it. I don't know what I was thinking, but I thought, well, you know, he doesn't seem interested. It's just lying there. I should have known better because it was covered in red. But I went ahead and picked it up. I went and touched it. All right. Now the fight's on. All right. So he, he wipes us out. They're going to wipe us out in and, and just a round or two. But that's not the point. The point is, is in the live stream last night, for the next two hours or more, I was just bound to determine to take these guys on and figure out a way to kill them all. It's Dungeons and Dragons, and that's what we do. And, you know, I'm tired of running around looking for things for people. I'd rather just find it anyway and keep it for myself, whatever it is. Right? And so, yeah. Two hours or more, just 
restarting and restarting, trying this, trying that, trying this, trying that. Anyway, and just getting wiped out every single time. And maybe there is still. I mean, at some point, one of these days, or I might still try to find a way to beat them all. I can't seem to lure them next to this chasm that I want. And get a good knock on him. Gale got really close. He had two attempts to knock that guy into an abyss using a full strength upcast thunder wave. And he got to he got two chances last night to hit him and knock him. And the guy wouldn't budge. And so I, I couldn't I couldn't beat him. I, I was able to knock uh, his a couple of his minions and the displacer beasts in and um you know given time you might be able to lure them but they kind of hover up top and they don't really um they don't really come down and i couldn't really get gale into a position to ever really take out more of them with one shot and maybe there is there, there probably is i know a lot of you are amazing at this game and you probably you're like yeah i watched my video of me soloing this entire group by myself, man, make you look make me look like a chump. My. This must be the okay. Lion's Den. So today, Lion's before going to play D and D tabletop version with friends, I had a couple of hours, and so I didn't want to do it on the next stream. Do like two or more hours on the next live stream to um, try to beat them and waste more of your time and just demoralize myself more and more anyway i thought okay well if i don't grab this thing he still gives me an opportunity to where they're not going to attack me he says okay you go try to find it and i was going to use that as an opportunity to set myself up now maybe plant some explosives and uh find uh, maybe an another way To try to beat him and so i came back in here today and started running through this again you're too fresh for this place aren't you a new arrival then you borrow i'm here to talk I... there's something out right i can smell him all over you you know him if that perfume trickster swindled me trapped me he wants you dead you know Okay. Um. Perhaps we can help each other. <laughs> Bargaining, are you? A Karator warlord once tried the same. I made him watch as I ate his concubines in young, then fashioned a codpiece from his. You can't help. It's not just walls that keep me here. Not the traps, the dark, or the creatures it hides. Something either I fulfill the contract, die trying, or forfeit my freedom. If I leave this place now, I'll become Raphael's slave. Uh show me this contract. Perhaps there's something that you missed. Uh, again. <sighs> Right, and again, I'm just looking for a way for them not to attack me so I can set up to attack them better. That explains where all the dark justice went. That's it. Okay. Your contract is a song? Parchment can burn. Oral agreements aren't worth the tongues they're waggled out upon. A song lingers. Raphael made double sure of that. I can't forget the damn thing so long as my word's not finished. I did as instructed, but the song still rattles about in my head. The contract still stands somehow. If I break it, I will become Raphael's slave forever. Anyway, enough prattle. The lyrics are clear. All who hear the song must die. 
time to die. Well, let's see here. Now I'm not getting the option. Um, it's not this option. I got a different option before. It's not s let me search for you. Let me try this. I'll have both if I wish. I'm sorry, folks. Now I'm going to be turned into an even bigger dumbass because now I'm... I'm I've done something wrong because now I'm not getting the persuasion. It's where it's let me let me read the contract again. I don't want to search the place. Like, I don't want to go that route again. And I don't know why it's not giving me the dialogue option now. But let's see what this does and let's see if we if we get it. But I don't that's this is not what I want. And this is not what came up earlier. So I'm not sure, maybe in the dialogue, I clicked something wrong. And I'm still looking like a dumbass. I spent a century roaming these holes. They may be trapped here. But... Okay, I, I'm a dumbass. I did something wrong again, right? That And you can't blame me for trying. I mean, that seems like that's all the dialogue you get. But that's not. That's not it. Let's do it again. Hopefully this won't take two hours. All right. We're there. Trust me. There are other dialogue options for this. It's going to blow your mind. And it's good. It, when I, when I came across it, it blew my mind. And that's why I, feel like such a dumbass you'll understand if we i don't want to spoil it so if you haven't seen this i definitely don't want to spoil it and maybe you'll be as shocked as i was now come on man let's let's try to do this right come on game don't make me look like a jerk again for this give us what we need A new arrival, then. You, I don't talk. There's some Raphael. I can smell him all over you. Where that perfume trickster swindled me. Where is he? Spit it out. Now. I don't know. Maybe I tried this one. leave this place now i'll become raphael's slave okay it was either this one or this one he likes of you is frightened by a contract i find that hard to swallow show me this contract perhaps there's something that you missed but in the final lyrics linger in your mind there is a trick buried within them a clause that cannot easily be fulfilled so maybe you need to make that insight roll there. Asking why I did my pop anyway. Time to die. This. Uh, no. What? Okay. Here it is right here. The lyrics are a trick. You've always had an audience your followers get rid of them what 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 now let's hope i make all the rolls among themselves but they do have ears kill yourselves back to the house with you
still hear it. Seems your theory is wrong. Persuasion. You're not finished yet. The displacer can hear you, can't she? Kill her. Can you believe it? It's a DC 21. That's lucky. I only have one inspiration point. Kill Nessa. Aww. Stay very still. My beauty. I still hear it. <laughs> Persuasion. Exactly. Kill yourself. Complete the contract, and you'll re be reborn in Avernus. Free. Crush fingers. Come on. Big bucks. No whammies. Oh my gosh. Come on. Yep, there is always next time. Yep. Well, I didn't know there was more dialogue. And again, you saw how just running through it that first time, it didn't even come up. So I'm, I am kind of a dumbass, but then I'm not, you know. I could have just went on and helped him try to find whatever he's looking for or whatever. I don't know. But I don't feel so bad because ultimately he's the bigger dumbass. Gale convinced him to kill everybody, as you just saw. Sure, we don't get all the great experience points for taking them out e each individually. But... That's the answer. That's the easy way. So, yeah, let me save my game. We're as as I understand, we're still not done with this freaking place, and I'm still going to you know, I'm not going to complain that there's too much content in this game. I should never do something like that. But I'm just, you know, Seven hours, seven hours, seven hours, seven hours of these live streams. And we haven't even made it to Moonrise. And, you know, I get a little tired and grumpy. And hold on, let's go grab that orb. No, this way. My, my. Right. Right, so that's the last one. The Inner Sanctum is now within reach. And it's just a matter of finishing up. Let's now, like, loot around. See what we can find. Stained towels pile. That's eh, lovely. Looking ahead. Swift as my feet can carry me. All right. In the, in the cutscene, he fell down here. But he's not down here. His, his ashes are up here. So, I'm sorry if that was a great big spoiler for you. But man, I mean... 
A Hellfire Hand Crossbow. Hellstalker possibly inflict burning when hitting a creature with this weapon while holding or invisible or hiding or invisible. Scorching Ray, level 3 evocation spell. And some more infernal metal. Unfortunately, the um you know, in a future playthrough, maybe come try to come through here first before going to the uh the inn because you get to have the blacksmith there convert infernal alloy into pieces of armor for you before he's converted into an undead and you have no choice but to kill him. Let's have a look. So they all have these nice Maragon halberds. Plus ones. Alright, scroll of Evard's Black Tentacles, scroll of Animate Dead, and Marigon Halbert. Alright, and that's all, that's all I checked out. I didn't, uh, I just turned it off there at that point. Uh, I had to get prepared for our Dungeons and Dragons game earlier tonight, and boy, they got a laugh out of that story. So let me at least show you where I think is one of the best spots to try to maybe lure them to. Okay, let's see if I can just jump this. Now let's just go around. There is a way you can jump up here from these stairs over here. And, you know, be undetected for just a moment. If you're gonna try to uh, like assault them this way, every attempt I made today before discovering what I discovered, uh, I was just getting wiped out. I was trying to send Gale up here to fireball or do something, and attack him here, and no, that, no, no, that didn't work so well. So there's two ways you can get to this next area. You can go through here, or go back around. Look over here real quick. A broken pike, a skeleton, and a skeleton. Bones. A candle. Oh, I don't need a broken pike. So over here, behind this small area... Behind this rock... This area right here, this ledge. You know, I don't think you need to jump it, but you gotta jump it from here. As long as your players are on this stone or right as close as you can to this area here, if you're out here just even a little bit more, I still think they can get a line of sight on you from, from up top. But here, behind this rock, they can't hit you with their ranged weapons. But unfortunately, they don't all come down. They all hover up on this platform, and they then they're stupid, and they just won't move. And so I haven't figured out a way to lure them down. Usually the, the that bad guy, Yagir, whatever his name is, he will eventually come down. The displacer beasts are the, the ones that will rush you. All right, so if you're in a position here or around this area, sometimes I, I was trying to hide Gale over here until the displacer beast showed up. But there's a good opportunity to knock them down and down there, and it kills them. And one of the displacer beasts is casting casting phantasm displacer beasts. So one or two of the other ones are just kind of illusions. I mean, they still will kill you. <clears throat> but as long as you can knock the the main one into the pit, it'll make the others vanish. So you can get lucky on that. Then, when the big guy down comes down by himself, if you're a strong enough team, there's a good chance you can take him out yourselves. And since they don't rush, but I could, I just couldn't do it. 
And Gail had a chance twice, again, to try to use Thunder Wave on him and knock him down there. Couldn't do it. Even all, um, you know, up, uh, what do you call it, upscaling. When you cast it at a higher level. Okay, so hitting him with the max power. Couldn't do it, can't do it. Then he he wiped us out. Uh, If you have anybody hiding, try to hide against this wall. And in this area, there's a beam right here which you can't see because we have crappy cameras in this game and I can't just move it where I want and show you and tilt it. There's a beam that runs across up here and most of the guys, most almost all of his minions huddle up here on this next level which is open and then they, they have a line of sight down to you here. So anybody hiding here is going to get popped. You have a good chance to hide some people over here, right? Anywhere out here, you're ambushed. That's just turkey shoot, man. Uh, yeah, there's probably some stuff over there. Uh, a dead spider, I think. And Gale can lick it. And it's like... Oh, let's just... Let me see if it's over there. I mean, like, it's, it's gross, but it's so gross. Succubus. Saliva or something. It's like a Viagra. And I didn't want to explore that because it's just, it's too, it's pretty gross and stupid. You know, a lot of the, it's like some of the mature content. Right. But it's this, uh. It's this dead spider meat, right? So you you might want to check that out. Ah, uh, there's a chest over here. Okay, boots of brilliance. So if you're playing a bard, yeah, restore bardic inspiration and 280 gold. And I didn't check out over here. Move the mouse around. I don't see anything. So I don't know ultimately what that spider's going to do. It seems to give a Gale a boner. So maybe he'll get, you know, an improved boner plus one, you know. And maybe it's important, but I sure hope not. Must have the improved boner plus one to be able to get to the next level. Oh, yeah. I have an opportunity to look through these now. The box is... In, wow, it's the first piece of non-rotted food. I think we found in this entire place, man. Everything's been spoiled and rotten and we're running out of food. This this place, this gauntlet of Shar has been so brutal. We have just been ch literally chewing through all of our food supplies. And now it's getting dangerous to where, man, if we don't find a good food store, we could be in real trouble. And knowing this game... Uh, so far, you know, there's still more up ahead that's going to that's going to kick my ass. I I do like fighting things. I really don't enjoy puzzles. They just uh, they're just oh, you're so clever, and they just I know I, and they make me feel stupid. I'm not a in the real world probably a uh, you know. On the lower side of the intelligence bar i and i i really don't appreciate puzzles at all and this whole gauntlet of char has just driven me crazy and i have no idea where i'm going by the way just 
winging it. Okay, so that's where we... Ah, uh, we could have gotten here from going that way, I think. Jumping from there to there. This is where it all took place just a minute ago. This is where he was with all of his people. There's some more ashes over there. Did we forget some of these guys? Let's double, double check that we can go this way. Yep. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, we did. I'm stupid. Yep, D to D. Only one. All right, since we have the orbs now, I, I, you know, when we first came in, there was something that said, ah, you need to place an orb in a slot or whatever. And so we've, we've got all those now. Wasn't this way? What am I missing now? Okay, well, how do you get out of this place now? nothing this way you know I I never went over there Let's see if that's even an option if not I've missed something again I love these statues. They're huge. Magnificent. Huh, we came down these stairs to get down here and now and now I'm stuck again, right? Mm, yeah, this was nothing. away from here what in the world now I'm a dummy again I don't think so It's a hell of a long jump. Negative 12. I'm gonna break something. Alright, break something. Come on, y'all. Break something. Right. She's like, yeah. Thanks. Gee, thanks. Like, you had to make me jump from further away, didn't you? You don't like me, do you? Oh. Yeah, I could probably use feather ball on, every on everybody.
We get out of here now. But go over here. So that was the library. And uh yeah, there's a place of umbral gemstones. Place umbral gemstones and altars. So we need to get to here. I walked into some place, some room last night again, and that we had been before, and all of a sudden we all started taking shadow damage, and Gale had the lantern, and uh, we all died. So that was fun. All right, I think we're where we're supposed to be. So maybe within the next, <laughs> I'm being really hopeful within the next hour, I'm hoping to be done with this place. I'd like to be done sooner than later. And, um, so my next live stream will be JFC. We're finally at freaking Moonrise Towers. Traversal gem. What? Reversal gem. Okay. 
Maybe that one is, uh, that's the only one that will allow activation. That disc is moving. Might be useful to navigate this place. Like a tensor's floating disc. It should have a tensor logo on it. If tensor had a logo. Ah. Uh. Well, if you see Tenther with Greyhawk, and though though Tenther would be on the uh, okay, I shut up. I'm only holding two. Who are holding the others? Who's got them? Gale. New journal updates available. Beat the cult the absolute would defeat the necromancer Balthazar. Da 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 da. Solving the abduction. Is that the one? That the inner sanctum is open. The relic lies just ahead. This one, when we went down the shaft, when when you go down that area that was the the, the giant sh statue of Shar, at the base there's some magic circle with some other stuff and a rat you can talk to and I, I couldn't figure it out so embrace your potential um no maybe that's not the one by the way there's this thing down there and I couldn't figure it out okay Fill the blood of Saluna and rise a warrior of Shar. Updated journal, find the night song. Don't waste a step. We have no short rests. Alright, well, can you waste a step to get down? Occasionally, my character says, no more puzzles, please, or something like that. Yeah, please, no more. No moss. I'm done. I'm tired. I want to get out of this place. This must be where oh, look at that. A sigil. Gift of mercy. Deliver the night mother's mercy. 
upon her enemies. Shroud yourself in the blackest night sins to the night soul. Make a sacrifice. Rise again. And trust your secrets to the night. I will not fail you, my lady. if you could put these out i don't know everything's a, a trick now or a, or a puzzle and so knowing this place you know it's saying it's got to be completely you know like that last one room it's it had to be completely dark I, I don't know chances are it probably is again they want us to turn off all the lights but i'll just go ahead and Go ahead and go across this, and if we die, then yeah, chances are it might be something silly like that. Maybe you don't want to. Maybe we don't want to go to the water. Although, man, that looks so nice and inviting. Where are you going? Yeah, and nothing here. What I see. Go behind a waterfall. Can we go? No. No. be the last step I need to pray only by Lady Shah's grace did we even make it this far you think mm, I don't know about that leave her to her prayers all right no need to dash in ahead of me I'm ready Onwards then. Updated the Chosen of Shar. Well, where is it? found the plaque disclosing the fact that Night Song isn't a relic. She's a woman, caged and somehow mixed up in the business of Ketherick's invulnerability. We found a plaque that claims the Night Song is in the Temple of Shar. Found the Avan in the Temple of Shar. Trail goes cold in the Underdark. Da -da 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 -da. Well, where's the one they just told us? We didn't find Arabella's parents. We did find Zevlor. Uh, no, we did not. I'm thinking Roland. Underdark, Crash, Banyan. So. It just said that our updated journal for blah, blah, blah. And I don't see it anywhere. Then it doesn't show it here in the log. Your party is gathered. You are ready. Or so you hope. If you want to proceed, depending on your choice, the state of the region could change. And some active quests may become unavailable. 
Yeah, whatever. I don't care anymore. In the immortal words of Phil Collins, yeah, I don't care anymore. As you step, I'm so over this. A foreign dread travels through you. It curls its way up your leg, squeezing tight. <laughs> And water elementals. I don't know what it was. Whatever. Yeah, this looks like fun. Auntie M. Auntie M, where are you? This is her domain. This is the Shadow Fell. Night Songs Prison. As if the softest push could send me drifting away. But he's lighter. Can you jump further? Maybe that is it, the lighter gravity. Maybe you do have to jump down here. Yeah. Here we go. Descend to her. Just a little bit farther. See my actions, Lady Shaw. Hear my words of faith. But Shaw would be keeping her. She's a prisoner, right? the time cool but very wild very wild Listen to her and kill her. I have to send those to her. Have to keep going. Lady 
shells will not shall be done. Sure as night will fall. Everything but loss. You will know no love, no joy, only servitude, until, of course, your mistress inevitably discards you. And there is much she does not tell you. A terrible blood price that may extend beyond my own death. You feel Shadowheart bristling. This is important to her. But your bond is strong. You may yet be able to sway her from the path of duty to the path of light, and Night Song is not blind to your conflict. Behind that raging heart is the restless beat of one who knows too well that her fate hangs in the balance. Yeah, that's a tough one. That's all she wants, you know? That's her hopes and dreams and... You know, who am I? What do I care, you know? Um, I almost want to say don't interfere, but, you know, I don't know what the game wants to do. Okay, is this truly what you want? Is there a way to save this here? So, two, do it. Don't interfere. It's interesting trying to figure out what, who is good and who is evil. Even that devil... Raphael, right? Who sent us to kill that one guy who killed himself. He was sent to kill all the dark justiciers in the complex. In the, uh, in the Gauntlet of Shar. You know, and... Shar is all about darkness and bringing... As I understand, Shar might be actually part of the absolute. You know, this idea of bringing about oblivion. And, you know, so maybe he is a, a better, I want to say a good guy. But maybe, maybe he is. Um, hmm. All I know is I'm not a big fan of Char, to be truthful, so. All right. Can't allow your goddess to control you. Right, exactly. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah. All right, do as you will. Well, well, well. What's that I sense? A spear intended for my heart. Empowered by your goddess, I. Empowered to kill the child of a god. Do you know what I am, little assassin? For I know you. A lost child. 
frightened by wolves in the dark. That is true. Much has been promised to you, hasn't it? But what has been taken from you? What do you know of your own heart? Your own life? I sense more in you than you know. Whatever you think you know of me won't matter once I become who I'm meant to be. Spare her and see what she has to say. That has been waiting for me this last century. Then, oh, then we will have much to discuss. gift little worry don't you find it also curious that you would spurn your dark lady perhaps you feel a stirring of the truth already but that will come later there is a battle yet to be fought you have done what we feared was impossible you have released me from a century of sorrow your power is great so too must be your weapon. You must choose what you will wield. And the Moon Maiden will provide. <laughs> thus I have said. Thus will it be so. Are you ready? Oh, she explained. All right. She's angry. She's being remarkably quiet about it. That's what frightens me. She must be angry. Yet I don't feel it or hear it. There's only silence. Let's get out of here, please. Whatever's coming, I don't want to be in the heart of the Shadow Fell when it finds me. The Night Song will be headed for Moonrise Towers. We'd better get there. And see what she's unleashed against Catherick Thorne.
Oh, blessed cutscene. Get us out of here. I don't want to have to climb up all these rocks again. No! Teleport us back to the start. We have been blessed by Saluna for saving her daughter. You receive Moonlight Glaive. 8 to 20 damage, 1d10 plus 6. Slashing 1d4 radiant. You Lord, and say thing. Uh, well, by the way, sorry. Sorry, lady. Forgive me. So what kept you, Shadowheart? Poor Shadowheart. She's all messed up. I thought I was done for. I thought perhaps I might have been dead. This, this is all like some sort of terrible dream. But it's real, isn't it? I stood before the night song. I heard Lady Shah's words. And I failed her. Worse than failed her, I defied her. Just because of what that Asimar said. I tried to leave, but Shah blocked me. Punished me for failing her. I thought I knew the limit of pain that the incurable wound could inflict, but... I had no idea. It felt like I was suffering the agony of a thousand people all at once. My blood was boiling, my hair was on fire. I thought I'd claw my own face off with the pain. But then she released me. Banished me, more like. She said I was an outcast. That all of her children would know me and revile me. Shadowheart looks distraught. Abandoned by her goddess and all former allies. And as for her divine magic... Admitting who empowers her now may break her spirit for good. Hmm. Setting consolation, I think you did the right thing. You're lucky to have such confidence. Me. I think the full price of what I've done has yet to reveal itself. I'm a target to Lady Shah's followers now. Night Song promised she'd tell me something about myself. I need to speak with her as soon as I can. What she said to me back in the Shadowfell about the wolves. 
That's no coincidence. She took flight to hunt down Kethrick Thorm. All I can do is help hasten his demise, and hope that answers soon follow. So we're back at the mausoleum entrance. <laughs> and you know what is still unfinished? We're still not done. I mean, I'm in. I can. I could skip it, but, you know, we would be leaving stuff unfinished. And that's the Gith Yankee. No, no, no. We've been, we've already done all this. All right. So there's a Gith Yankee patrol that's after us because of what we did at the crash. Right. So. It's right. Here, where the Gith Yankee are, and this thing we did pop up on our map that we were supposed to investigate the Brewer's Alchemical Stash. Stash. Shit. Uh, is it out here? Forward and then to the right. Oh, that's not forward. This is forward. Can we get through here? Yep. Record of shipment. Corpse Rose. Ross Salamander Tongue. Wyvern Stinger. Swarming Toadstool. Sending you the requested ingredients as per your letter, including the purple worm glands. I'm here to see the result of your experiments. Please send me some samples when it's completed. I have a few clients who would be very interested in the toxic fruit of your labors. Purple worm poison. That's supposed to be an instant death, I think. Um, let's back out for a minute. Let's let Gale pick those up. I'll be ready. And we have more components in camp that I've left behind that, you know, during all this, I think. Come back out. Okay.
The Gith Yankee are right here. And I was not able to beat them either. They were just brutal. And one of them has these arrows. One or more of them have arrows that, that their diminution, they shrink us. I mean, literally shrink us down to halfling size. We have gained a level since then. Yeah, how close are we to the next level? Not even. So, you know, we might do better, but um, I don't know. It's a horrible fight. Um, I'm thinking that purple worm stuff, you know, we're going to need it for, like, Kethric Thorn, Thorn, whatever his name is. Rotten food. Do, 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 do. Let's get rid of all the non-important components here. Or items here. Hand me my leech. Oh yeah, that surgeon guy. Green around a cauldron. Gonna make some chili. Now uh, this one is... We're going to rearrange her. Um, all those halberds. Or... We did acquire another arrow of dragon slaying. That's very nice. Don't need need the infernal metal. I'm um, sending to Gale. To do to do that weapon that we just picked up is uh, we need to give that to that of heart, and unless we already did. There is work to do. Oh. All's well that ends. Yeah, not as bad as it could have. The moonlight glaive. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. And she had Sting the Helpless. A draw elf wielding this weapon deals a draw elf. Okay. Don't even know why she had that. Can you use that and a shield? No. Too bad. We do have a, a dead pixie. I don't know. I try to like reviving, and that doesn't work. I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. And the weird deals acid damage. They also inflict noxious fumes. 
12 plus 4. But Blood of Lathander is an awesome weapon. 1d10 plus 5. D six plus five. D ten plus four. What's next? Six plus three. One D eight plus one. Probably still a better that might be a better choice. Let's see about Lazel, what does she got? Enough waiting. I crave blood. One D ten plus two, one D six plus three. So you can use it while you're invisible. I get it. It's pretty neat. Well, hiding or invisible? Yeah, we're, we're going to have to try it for sure. Uh, the helmet. The wielder has plus one bonus to saving throws against spells. Covert critical. While obscured, the number you need to roll a crit while attacking is reduced by one. What does that mean? Could that mean, uh, invisible as well? And the other one is, uh, plus two... Saving throws against spells. Let's try this for one for right now. One D eight plus five. When you roll two or less, re-roll and take new result. D six plus five. Six plus four. One D eight. And allows her to keep her her shield. Keep that AC up. She's gonna wear heavy and she's wearing heavy. I get the Yankee wearing this as a an advantage on intelligence saving throws, aberrations also have disadvantage on attack rolls against them. So that's kind of a must. What was she wearing? She was wearing this one. Paralyzing critical. Once per long rest when scoring a crit on a humanoid, the wearer can paralyze the target for two turns. Okay, she does have invisibility. Um, I'm reluctant to end them, use them. Ah, well, we can always come back.
What's next, I wonder? But she's been wearing this uh, Wapira's crown. When healing another, or the wearer gains one to six hit points. But right now, you might need pluses on saving throws. That's really a shame, but he needs her weapon. Mm, I applaud your taste. Oh, thank you. Okay, oil of bane, oil of diminution. Ah, uh, to be able to return the favor, oil of sharpness. Poisoner's Gloves. One round of Purple Worm Toxin. Right, that's too heavy for them. Uh, well, they're heavy. Resistance to cold damage. Um, I don't know that he needs the moon lantern anymore. When dealing cold damage, the world deals an additional one. Dealing cold damage with the spell possibly infects chilled. The target. This one ensnares. On a successful saving throw against a foe's spell, deal four to seven. I think this one that he's wearing gives him, like, resistance to fire. of accuracy elixir of hill giant strength elixir of viciousness elixir of universal resistance arrow of darkness arrow of roaring thunder Elixir of bark skin. Sample toxin. Animal speaking, arrow of lightning. Arrows of fire. For every deal fire damage, you gain two turns of heat. I don't know what that means. When the wearer deals thunder damage, lightning damage, or radiant. They inflict two turns of reverberation. Put this over to Shadow Heart. See if she's wearing any gloves. Can't afford to stay idle. Archery. Proficiency with long bows and short bows. Let's give those over to Lazel as she might be doing a ranged sneak attack. Underdog's bravery. The wearer gains advantage on melee attack rolls while surrounded by two or more foes. Weapon attacks, uh, when a weapon attack rolls, roll inflicts a condition, the wielder gains arcane acuity. Demon spirit are the worst summoned creature has resistance. Bludgeoning plus one, 1d8, 1d6. 
186 electric damage. That, uh, where's that one that he had? It was the, like, the brawler's punch drunk bastard. But you need to be drunk. While you, while you're drunk, you have advantage on attack rolls. But also, create a blast with each attack, dealing 1d4 thunder damage for 10 feet. When you miss an attack, you deal one bludgeoning damage anyway. But you, you need to be drunk. One D eight. Eight one D six. Just go with his ensnare. This one gives him bull strength. Unwavering bull, you cannot be pushed against your will, and you have an advantage on saving throws against being restrained. Armor of Agathus. Let's do the armor class. Okay. Targets must see the constitution save or be blinded. Not sure what arcane synergy is. Advantage on wisdom saving their shield. Way more damage. Well, not way, but enough. Well, that does cold damage. When the wearer deals cold, 
They also create a 15 foot circle of ice. So what's this one? When you inflict a condition, gain arcane synergy for three rounds. Okay. Oh, you son of a gun. Okay. Mm. <laughs> well, where's the darn poison? Purple. Too much stuff. The purple worm. Let's move. is not around, so it might as well. It was the, um... <clears throat> I don't know what it is. Blood rose stumping. Bone rose, blood rose.
I don't understand. He should have everything he needs to make. That was what that whole letter was about. Here's all the components you need to make the damn... Poison. Mm, I don't know, maybe they call it something else. I don't know, it's a purple worm poison. I don't know. So that's progress. And I sent the letter back to camp, didn't I? Allied undead? Oh. Okay, who picked up the letter? Whatever comes, I'm ready. Yeah? Like it's well be done. Yeah, it was ripe with magic. Sending you the requested ingredients as per your letter, including the purple worm glands. I'm able to see the results of your experiments. Please send me some samples.
corpse rose was one of the ingredients. Thisbal's. Mm hmm, maybe not. That's for Thisbal's brewed up belly glimmer. I didn't see the purple worm stuff at all. The worm glands. Do to do to do to do. You know, dead. I am not. Wits and blades always sharp. Your desire. rows and suspension. Really despicable poison.
I'm just saying we don't have one. So we don't. Okay, well, I suppose I'll have to mess more with that when we get to Moonrise Towers. Consider it done. All right, the first thing we want to try, now we go back out with the Gith Yankee, is it says that she can use that <laughs> invisible and it'll last 10 rounds, right? One, two, yeah, 10 rounds. So let's leave everybody here, split the party up. In this case, have Gail cast them on her. Sir. I don't want to save it. We've saved in case I have to back up on this one and let's see what, what happens when she shoots her bow with this guy.
trying to shoot her. failed to kill you. Yeah, that didn't work at all. So how is she not able to use it while she's invisible? While hiding or invisible? I guess, I don't know. I don't know. That didn't do anything to him. Well, that's kind of worthless. You can sneak right up on him. Breathe deep and move. Um, oops, wrong. It would sure be great if we could get behind them. Good, I mean, you get like right there. Is there more? Please tell me there's no more. Well, this is that army that they see down there. The army of the absolute. Wow, that takes you to Baldur's Gate right there. Well, it says to Baldur's Gate. It's like two Moonrise Towers and then it's, you know, seven days. up there okay, I need to get back up here oh no I wanted to just get around that guy oh come on I just needed to get up here get up there
94, 94. Yeah, that's... some goo and see what we got nasty goo down here wyvern toxin 1d8 poison well actually no that's what we need to do be better for that guy up top though he's the guy with the arrows that are bad juju I think I can cast it up now. I could try. Let's see. I can't see it up there. It says that it would get him. Hold. Temporarily banish your target to another plane of existence. That's pretty slight. Yeah. Maybe we can get somebody out of the way for a moment. Alright, but try your hold first. Sixty feet. Try it anyway. I doubt she can get him, but we'll try. No, he's just out of range. Really? You're in range. Come on.
it's because they're in the darkness now, right? That's the reason. What? Yeah, only one. Well, this is futile then. I would have to make her walk right over to it. Okay, scrolls. Mirror image. Ice storm. Fire shield. Large. Neat. Cast that on Lazelle. With every breath, a purpose. Wait, I get you. I think this to increase your size. Coat weapon. I'm surprised it was when he cast that spell. Turn and stay out of sight. Cloak and dagger, my favorite. Drink speed potion. Or did he already do his? She can't jump now. All right, whatever. Why am I doing this? I don't know, Gail. I really don't. Can't reach him.
All right. Well, there's two enemy. I can at least mess with those two guys for a minute. the hell did they get all these attacks when they're surprised? You son of a bitch. That's such crap. Zero damage. That's such crap. This is not a time to be missing anything. Man, they're tough. This crazy. He's got he's got the aerial arrows that shrink you. And we're and my guy, these guys are all getting to move before my guy who is hidden. Crap, it's Zell's right there. They're suffering, okay, a little bit of damage, but not much. That's garbage. Again.
Damn it, that person's already back. Come on, like a one round, really? Victory awaits. This game, man. Finish him off, Gail or Lizelle. Come on, eighteen. My time in the shadows. Yeah, where were you a minute ago? How come they're again? This guy hasn't moved at all. guy who is hastened and, and on speed potion hasn't done jack and hasn't moved at all and he's taken all kinds of damage and didn't do jack and now can't do jack can't move what is wrong what happened here Nothing. Still on my feet. What a bunch of bullsh. It's like they're not hastened at all either. So I don't understand. My guy, my my main character, the main fighter, all dudded up, ready to go, sitting in that corner, and he didn't get to move at all like the first couple of rounds. I don't know what happened there. Lizelle was on a speed potion and wasn't getting any extra attacks. The banishment is worthless. I mean, what? Banished for... Six seconds? So that spells garbage. I didn't look to see if you could upcast it for maybe a longer duration. I, I don't know. All I know is that was crap, man. That was absolute crap. Garbage, garbage, garbage.
they take this as an attack or not. I didn't um, I want to see if that would cast and be passive like before where they didn't care and um, but we didn't get any speed potions in us or code any weapons These boots were made for walking. And that's just what they'll do. Coding weapons doesn't have to be on a turn based, so. Failing a charisma saving throw become banned for two turns. Staying out of sight. I'm blinded or poisoned. Drink the speed potion. Still in shadow. Drink the speed potion. Try to cast hold person. was casting they were all casting but I think those guys down there casting too
The invoked duplicity's never really worked, but I'm gonna actually I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot. Did you put it down here? Once per turn, deal one D8 poison damage to your weapon. Oops. Spiritual weapon. We're done there. Does this count as adventuring? Why? What's up, Lizelle? Why? You're hastened. What is you? You only went six feet.
didn't do jack. Bum, Lazelle didn't. I think she was robbed, completely honest. There she goes. Maybe the dice gods heard me. But she should have got, I think, an extra attack in general for being hastened. Better surprised. Legendary resistance. Uh, time to push my luck again. What's he doing? Why is he doing it? Casting it like a magic spell. Should have used that last one. Oh, come on. Two points, Lizelle. Two points. And I'm not getting any more attacks. This game.
repair raid. Coated oil of diminution. That's the one that shrinks us. <laughs> These guys are all now super decks. And again, hastened, and I don't understand. She drank her speed potion. Um, dumb, dumb. Oh, of course. Doing so well. Whatever, worthless thing, come on. Just come, just get over here. I dropped my weapon. They both get two attacks on me I'm trying to get my weapon. Yep. And even though I have it, I have to equip it. So that takes the rest of the round, right? Or did I not get it? Where is it? There it is. Then you have to equip it. And that was my whole round. Right? I don't see how that worked at all. The last board is set. Better. 
Even slowed, I still can't hit him. And then she's got no shove. And of course, I get knocked. Did I get knocked all the way out here? Started out so well, you know. This spell that was supposed to heal everybody, I don't get it. Your allies will regain the maximum hit points possible when healed. Okay, I see. Alright, so now try to heal them. Didn't give her the max healing points when healed. Now I can't jump up there. Let's see. It's a bad place to get knocked down. Please tell me it did some damage. For waste. Victory is assured. I move him all the way out of there and he still gets it. Come on, Lazelle. Oh my lord. You deal with him. Of course, of course, of course. Of course. <clears throat>
So much for peace. This guy is 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 just a nightmare. You can't hit him. Points to have. Let's go. He's gonna get me in the next round. Battle hearts down. She's all small now. Oh my lord. What a bunch of crap. Oh, we were so close. It started out so well. I was so hopeful. Like, okay, we can do this. We, st we still can. It's just, what a bunch of crap. And then that guy, you just can't hit him. What a bunch of crap. The uh, haste, the speed potions were just supposed to, I thought they were supposed to last a couple of rounds. We weren't getting any extra. I got, I felt like we got it in one round. My my character did. Had extra attacks. Lazella didn't think she had, I don't feel like she had extra attacks. I thought the worst was their leader with 174 whatever. So I thought, okay, we got her. Everybody else should we we should be doing all right with everybody else. Shit.
Alright, I need to check out like bark skin and stuff for this. One that increases your strength. How long does that last? Bonus action, single use. Turn base mode, drink your potion. Not feels like she's getting her attacks. That's more like it. Okay, let's go. What happened to my turns? Was that? What? Another day, another fight. I didn't get her spells ready. Put it over here. Let's just hope that I can...
Of course. Of course. Of course. That's it, he only got two attacks per that round. I don't want to push her. He ignores it. Again, that's crap. down again. Ignores it, ignores the duplicity. That's never worked right. It never worked right in pre release. Wow, one of them actually went after the dummy. You're gonna fry Shadow Heart. Of course. I'm a mobile? Really? One of them. And I'm still probably going to get Shadow Heart. And it didn't do Jack.
this Jesus, there's another one still. Now I can't move or there's an opportunity attack. Can't do it. Do 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 man I need some inspiration
It says it was two turns on banishment, huh? Awarding bond for sure. Alrighty, I like that. Makes me think of those rings that I probably should use. They're supposedly awarding bond, right? So let's find that let's find that ring again and see what that does. There's one, True Love's Caress. One of a magical pair of rings that allows the wearer to receive a warding bond from a creature wearing the matching ring. You have my attention. What am I to do? One of the magical pair of rings. This allows the wearer to cast a warding bond once per long rest on a creature wearing the matching ring. Gentle warding bond. Okay, so she's wearing it. So she can do that. Gail can cast that. It's per long rest, so it should last a while. Okay. Okay. 
Gentle warning. All damage until long rest. Uh, did was it she that had it? Hmm. Gail had it. Salutations. No. Got a hard habit. Time to dally. Really? So that wasn't the ring. So Lazelle and the fighter should now be bonded, right? Warding bonded. Oh my God. Until a long rest. Saved, saved, hold. I won't make the same mistake. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I got all excited and jumped the gun again. They need to take their healing, uh, their speed potions. And Gail needs to cast haste. strength. Okay. Blood. 
I don't understand the ring thing then. My faith I'm, protects me. I'm screwing something up or don't get it. I'm dumb again. I didn't coat their weapons. They were surprised Lacell should be going first. That doesn't make any sense.
great. She runs away. Not Zell didn't get to go. Oh, it's such crap, man. That's it's such crap. All right, that's crap. It's like it's cheating. It's like the game is cheating. Not only are we playing on tactician, but it's you know, it's just straight up cheating. It's probably not. It's just I don't understand fifth edition as well as I could, or whatever. But it it just doesn't feel right at all.
mission has to come first. Out of sight. What do you mean? What? You're hastened and all kinds of crap, and what's going on now? Uh, uh, uh. Talk to me. Well, no, it should be Lizelle's turn. I don't understand.
Where's her extra attacks? None. Not gonna give it to her. That's it. That's all they're giving her. Good game, man. Fury! Mac Davis! 
Up in the Gale's firewall. And I'm hastened and I don't get an extra, well, a jump, I guess, but. Garbage, man. It's garbage.
I can't do crap damage to them. They're just laying waste to us. It's just so ridiculous. No damage whatsoever. Never affected by a shield blow. I am I just don't understand I don't understand what's going on and why the healing uh, the speed potions aren't working and why haste isn't working right with haste at least you're supposed to get one extra action I didn't want to, I don't want to skip it, and this is really the last thing, and I don't want to have to have another live stream just to deal with these guys. I want the next one to be just, finally, we're at Moonrise Towers. JFC, we're finally here. Yeah, this stream has been going on for... We're at four hours now. And it's mostly just been these guys. Okay, yeah, yeah, I hear you. Switch on that. Very comical. Very comical. How did that even happen? We weren't even as close as we normally get. Normally get we get right up on them. We don't even get our speed potions this time. No, because then we don't get surprised. If we don't get surprised, we have to get surprised. Because we need that potential for an extra attack.
I'm thinking maybe we should just, uh, I don't know. Somehow or another, just maybe try to all concentrate on one. Don't mess around with trying to holds or anything else. They keep saving anyway. Did she get her weapon coated? They're not surprised. I won't make the same mistake. Oh, this damn game, man.
nothing. And then she didn't get her second shot. Her action surge. can't upcast this.
Yeah, they just completely bypassed the, the weapon. Can't do anything. I'm in a bad spot right between them. What a time for it not to work. There goes Gale. Nothing. Victory awaits. That guy's still all Uber. Let my name be known. Miss. This game, man. If you could hit him, what, you only got one attack that round? Can you get over here? Can't get up closer to him.
1994. Hit in the zone. What? I will ascend. And they can't really do anything to help the others. They're gone.
No shit, huh? Spider-Man? Really? Lizelle's that jacked up? Lord. <laughs> gonna be gone this next round. We're both gonna be gone. One more hit on each of us and we're done. Do it. Come on, Lizel. Just one good hit. You're out of turns. Oh, it's so close. Look at that.
are you doing? Did you guys stop moving? I'm hoping they can both be active at the same time. That'd be nice. Okay, good.
And then they both saved. I hate him. I hate him, Jacques. I hate him. I hate him, Jacques. I will take the artifact for my queen. Hate him, Jacques. Crap.
Really? And that's all you can do? It's just that that's it. Ah, oh, it's so frustrating. Huh. This guy didn't do anything. Did I hit Lizelle? Things are going so good. matters.
What are you doing? I didn't realize you had to run so far away. Oh, that's not good. Run back. Uh oh. Why can't you move? I mean,
Really, Ken? It's she's prone. Come on. Can't believe we might win this. If we can hit. Oh, my Lord. did nothing that did something
Come on, Lizzo, please, just please. One one point. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Did it. The Quanith alerted us to the hunters. I'll be darned, we did it. I can end the live stream. We can finally make the next live stream. Moonrise Towers, son of a gun. This was a wicked fight. Those two need to be resurrected now. Battle awaits. It's like these people had super magic crap on them. Of course not. Where is she? Get over here. Rachnir Bracers, quickened Mage Hand. You can cast Mage Hand as a bonus action. Strength saving throws plus one. Big deal, Mage Hand. Royal Orders, Psionic Ward Armor, rare medium. Boiled Beholder Eye Stocks. Mm -mm. At least we got some food. My sausage. Ugh. Scumbag. This scumbag. Diamond. Scumbag. Where's the other scumbags? Is that it? Two, three, four.
It is as we knew. My people have turned their blades against us. They will emerge from the shadows and descend from the skies. And we will grant them their only just fate. Death. Yuria. Yeah. on me not any on me Turn with the this is the price of ban. Well, can't it? By doom and dusk, I strike thy name from the archives. Rise. Thou require a new pen, thou must return. This is the price of that. Well, can't it? By doom and dusk, I strike thy name from the archives. Two hundred and two. What? What? That's it. They're all resurrected, saved, and now the next live stream can now be 
Moonrise Towers. Oh, thank you for being with me tonight. It was, um, we survived because of you. The pressure was on, you know, I'm live streaming and I know you're watching. So, it may have taken quite a few tries. But we did it. Again, all, all because of you. So. <laughs> Uh, if all goes well, uh, I will have that up tomorrow night. If not, I'll do my best for Monday night. So, thank you again. Uh, please like and subscribe. It means the world. It really, really does. Uh, it helps a lot more than you can know. So, 